Hey guys, Caitlin here. Today I'm going to talk to you about what to expect in an FTC tournament. So let's get started. So let's talk about what happens at a tournament. The first thing that happens when you get to a tournament is a member or mentor needs to go to the registration desk and tell them that the team has arrived. That's also where you hand in your team's engineering notebook. The organizer there will tell you your pit number, when your team judging time is, and what room it will be held in. You'll also usually get some FTC pins for participating. Then the team members can set up at the pit. All team members and any visitors should wear goggles from this point on. Then we usually start dividing up into our drive team and scouting team. The drive team is responsible for getting the robot inspected. First through the hardware inspection, then through the software inspection, and finally through the field inspection. During hardware inspection, you'll need to hand in your bill of materials that specifies everything your robot was built out of. Make sure you print out and attach a list of any special materials that might be questioned by the inspector. Also make sure your robot fits into the 18 by 18 inch build limit. The hardware inspectors will put a sizing cube over your robot to make sure that it meets the specifications. If it doesn't, your team will have to figure out what can be shaven to meet the requirements. You need to make sure everything has been filed down and that there are no sharp edges that could hurt somebody. Also make sure that your Samantha, NXT, and your power button are all easy to get to. Be sure that there are no dangling wires. Bring some extra zip ties just in case. Read over the rules in the FTC manual to make sure that your robot follows all the requirements. During the software inspection, make sure you've downloaded Samistat onto your robot, your latest programs, a program chooser to the robot, and the latest NXT firmware for robots in your lab view. The software inspectors will flash your robot so that it recognizes their field control system. Make sure someone on your team reads the FTC software rules to make sure you're prepared. During field inspection, the inspectors will make sure that your robot is functioning properly on the field, that it recognizes their field control system during autonomous and teleop periods. While the drive team gets the robot inspected, the scouting team should begin talking to the other teams at the competition. And if you don't know what to do for scouting, watch the video we made. After your robot has passed all the inspections, make sure to create a charging station for your batteries. Start talking to the neighboring teams around you. Be friendly and ready to offer another team help if they need it. So what happens during judging? During judging, your team will have about 10 to 15 minutes to present what your team has accomplished over the season, what your robot can do, and answer the judges' questions. Usually there are two to three judges. To prepare for this, it's best to rehearse what you're going to say to your coaches and parents once or twice ahead of time. Once all the teams have gone through judging, the event's opening ceremony is held. The MC acknowledges all the hard work of the volunteers who organize the event, the team and mentors, and a game of the video is played. When this happens, there's usually a driver's meeting where the penalties and rules are reviewed. Then the qualification match schedule is given to each team. You usually have a few minutes to prep. Then the qualification matches begin. Each team gets to play four or five matches. The scores are based on how many matches you've won, lost, or tied. So for example, if you won a match, that's worth two qualifying points. And if you tied, you get one qualifying point. And if you lost, you get zero. There's also something called ranking points. Ranking points are used as a tiebreaker if your team has the same number of qualifying points as another team. When your team wins a match, you get the score of your losing alliance as ranking points in the qualification matches. Once all the qualification matches are finished, each of the top four seeded teams gets to choose two alliances, each in order of rank. Then, elimination matches are played, where the team seeded first will play the fourth seeded alliance teams, and the second and third ranked alliance teams will play against each other. Whichever alliance wins two matches first, that's the one to advance to the finals match, where again, the alliance which wins two matches first is the winning alliance of the tournament. After the finals are played, the award ceremony is held. There are more than 10 different awards given out. No matter how matches turn out, be proud of yourself and your team, and hopefully you had a lot of fun being part of FTC. Good luck and have a great time at the tournaments.